hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm gonna be doing this look right here um if you want to see how i achieve this look just go ahead and keep on watching okay so first off i'm gonna start off by priming my eyelid and to prime my lids i use the concealer that i use to carve out my brows and to conceal which would be either the maybelline fit me concealer or the wet n wild uh photo focus concealer but today I'm going to be using the Fit Me Concealer, which is, this one is in the color or shade light. And I just apply some like that on both eyes. Then I'm just going to go ahead and blend it out with this brush right here. This brush is from uh, ABH Cosmetics pack. This is what it looks like. Now that the concealer is blended out, I'm just gonna go into my Carly Bible BH Cosmetics palette and I'm gonna take this shade right here. I'm just gonna take this Morphe brush. This is the Morphe, Morphe R39. And I'm gonna take that shade and put it all over my lid. This uh, Take Me To Brazil from the BH Cosmetics. And I'm gonna go in with this orange right here. And I'm gonna apply this onto my crease. And this palette is not very pigmented, so you do need to add a couple of layers. same brush that I used to, to set my lid I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the red shadow which is this one right here and I'm gonna try to keep that right under the orange just lightly going in <laughs> And then I'm just gonna go back in with the same brush that I applied the orange. I'm not gonna take any product. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend. Well, I did notice that the orange wasn't really showing up as much as I would like it to. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of that orange on the finger on my fingertip and apply it just for a little bit more pigment and then go ahead and blend it. I just applied a little bit more of the red and I blended everything out. Now that I have everything, all the orange and red blended on, I'm going to take this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to take that right on the lid. And I'm going to apply some. And then I'm just going to spread it out with my finger. After I have blended that out, I'm going to go in with a flat brush and I'm going to take this yellow right here and pack that onto the lid. And then I'm just going to go in with a little bit of more of that orange and blend out where the orange and the yellow meet. a little bit of glitter this is the eyeshadow princesa pearl powder this is in the shade um, G12 it is just a gold I am going to be applying a little bit of my NYX glitter primer this is what it looks like I want to apply a little bit to the back of my hand
And then just with my finger, I'm just gonna put some on my lid. Just very little. And then I'm just gonna take a flat brush. And apply some of the glitter on my lid. Just like that. Okay guys, so now that I uh, finished my eyes, I went ahead and popped on some lashes. Um, I'm gonna start with my face. I'm gonna be using the Matte and Poreless. I think this is a, a shade uh, too light for me, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use it. I apologize if there is glitter all over my face. I tried my best to get it off. I'm gonna start putting on my foundation. I'm gonna be using my Beauty Blender. So now that the foundation is on, I'm gonna go ahead and cream contour. I'm not sure what this cream contour is. It's already dying out. It's I got it. Uh, I got it in an Ipsy bag. I'll go ahead and try to look for it online, and I'll leave it down below. And I'm gonna go heavy on the cream contour since the foundation is a little bit lighter. And that was the last of it. I'm gonna go in with this brush. It is also from ABH Cosmetics. This is the number four. And I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out. I'm going to be applying very little concealer just at the very bottom of my eye because I do have a little bit of bags but I'm going to apply very little and only under my eyes and I'm going to blend that out. I'm going to be setting the under eye with this Wet n Wild contouring palette. I'm going to take that banana shade and I'm going to set the under eye with that. I'm going to be setting the rest of the face with the CoverGirl Professional Loose Powder. This is in the shade Translucent Medium and I'm going to be setting the whole face with this. And to set the face, I'm using the Morphe R7. With that same uh, palette that we used to set the under, I'm going to go in with the other shade. And I'm going to take the um, Morphe R14 and I'm going to contour. I'm going to apply some blush. I'm going to be using the Milani Luminoso. Taking a small brush. This is from the BH Cosmetics and it's the number three. Just going to apply some to the cheekbones. And then I'm just going to go back in with the powder brush and I'm going to blend everything out. For 
highlighter, I'm going to be using this Sephora highlighting palette. And I'm going to take this crease brush and I'm going to dip into this gold right here. And I'm just going to highlight the cheekbones. Highlight the cupid's bow. A little bit over the brows. And some on my nose. I'm just going to set my face real quick. I'm using the Wetter Wild setting spray. And then I'm just gonna go in with my beauty blender and bounce it on my face just to lock everything in. And for my lips, I'm gonna be using the Liquid Cat Suit by Wet n Wild. This is in the shade Give Me Mocha. This is what it looks like. And I'm gonna be applying that to the lips. Okay guys, so this right here is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!